All right, so I really need a light right here, right there in that outlet. I want to be able to turn this light on from here when I come in the front door. But I also want to be able to turn it on or off from here when I go in or out the back door. So we're going to need to wire up a three-way switch. So what we need are single pole double throw switches. So you can see three prongs there. The middle one is the common. I like to think of it as the power in or power out. And the other two are the switch legs. The switch decides which one of those gets the power. Okay, so this is what's happening inside the wall right now. I haven't hooked anything up. Over here, we've got our power source. All right, that's our fuse block. And it's gonna come here, comes to a box. There's nothing in it, there's nothing hooked up. And I've got three wires going up to the ceiling and over to this box. And so what we've got is two travelers and a negative. And then we've got our light that's not hooked up, but we've got a box in the middle of the ceiling. So here's what's gonna happen. Here's how a three-way switch works. Remember I said we've got a common and two travelers. Common is also known as power in or power out. So we're gonna bring this wire, we're gonna connect it to the middle one, and then we're gonna take these two travelers and connect it to each of the side ones. So put that there. Then right here, what we're gonna do, take our two travelers, we're gonna connect them to the two outside prongs, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this negative wire, we're gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna put this to the common, the power in or the power out. And then that's gonna go to our light, and that's our positive to our light. And then the other half of the wire that we cut is going to be hooked up and that's going to be our negative and it's just going to go back to neutral in the box. It's just going to go to this. It doesn't go to the switch. And that's all it is. And so what happens, the way that it works is, is when the switches are both selecting the same wire, power flows through the circuit. But if this here switch is selecting this wire and this switch is selecting this wire, the lights off. That's all it is. It's simple. Now this is a middle of the run, but it's just as easy for an end of run. Say it was an end of run. Say we were taking power to both switches and then to the to the light. All we do is we wouldn't have this broken here. I don't know where I put my negative wire, but we'd have we just have power going through both switches, still going in the common, still coming out the common with the red, and then it just go. To the light and our neutral is still here and this the neutral that's still here would just connect over to the light and be the negative same way and you can do it beginning of run two so you can have your light before the outlets after the outlets or in the middle of the out or the switches it doesn't matter it works the same way okay so this is our power source Middle wire is the power source. Outside wires are the travelers that go over to the other switch. And then our negatives are just connected together so that that runs up to the box and over to the other switch. Okay, now let's do the front door. So we're gonna tape our negative wire red because it's, oh, it's too far to the end. Because it's gonna be, now it's gonna be a positive wire because it's gonna come out the common. Remember power in, power out. So we're gonna connect the common to the middle and this is what's gonna take the power up to the light. Now let's connect our travelers. Okay, we got one traveler to the other. Next traveler is connected. Now let's go and put the bulb in. I erroneously cut one traveler, so we're just gonna use a Wago connector and put that back together. Don't be confused by this. I never, I don't, didn't really know what I was doing when I ran this wire and I ran it in two pieces. Now it's one piece. And we got this is our formerly our neutral, which we're going to tape red. I forgot to bring up the tape, so we'll be right back. 
Okay. Here we go. Alright, got that tape. There we go. So that was our positive. Now we're going to do our neutral. I really like these wire crimpers. Test. No, it did not. Okay, let's see if it works. Yep, works from this side. Let's go test the other side. All right, works from this side. Let's leave it on and shut it off from the other side. Still works. Pretty cool.